my order of new dividers came in for the drawer for my Acro Mills drawers and uh, I ordered these as soon as I saw the Leaf Hunters latest vlog because uh, he mentioned that they switched away the people I get them from they switched away from acrylic which has this blue paper on either side which is really hard to get off which I don't deal with and they made it like the um, the black plastic ones that you get on, on the back of the of the drawer units. So let me open one up and let's see what it looks like. All right, I got the paper off of this one. Let's uh, open it up together. Oh, look at that! No blue paper. I love it. Yeah, look at that. It's got the little ridges here. All right, let's go to the drawer. See how that looks. It's a snug fit. It's a snugger fit than the black ones. They get off the, the things. I love it. I love it. Oh. I'm in heaven. These things are so great. It's Friday. Gotta love it. Again, another day with one order on Bricklink, one order on Brick Owl. And these are like some small orders. One item, one lot for each. Shouldn't take too long to do this. I'm probably done already. I don't know how best to show this, but that top yellow box means that I programmed the drive through API correctly. And when I entered in my tracking ID and hit set, the drive through email was sent through as well yay all right now that i got the stores done let's take a look at ebay two orders another gimli i uh, went looking for his head again yesterday after this order came in but his head is hard to find and then uh cole hero which i just listed yesterday so he sold quickly Sometimes you can just find gold in your used uh, Lego lots. And here is the gold piece that I found. Purple, tran, trans purple four length bar, which I've been looking on Bricklink forever for, which nobody seems to have in the United States. I have to travel overseas to get that. And this is what I need it for. Mace Windu. I've been waiting forever to get this. That will now complete him. Amazing. And another one appears. I now have two. Gotta get the uh, Mace all photographed for eBay. A little too blurry. Well, after the uh, Mace Windu photos, I took a, took some pictures of uh, my Hunter Orc, which was in my uh, photos bin, waiting for photos. And uh, I took it with the new Canon uh, camera that I've been shooting these vlogs with now. And it's amazing what you can see with a really detailed camera. Cracked arm, which I totally missed. Cracked heel, which I, I don't even see it even after. Like, I took it off. I, I still don't see it on the leg, but there it is. Right there. Right there. So, I've changed the legs out and uh, took the arm off. I don't have a dark tan arm, so I'm going to have to order that to save that torso. Actually, I sh should look to see if I have the torso. I don't think I do, but, um, yeah, he's not ready for eBay yet. I uploaded the Mace Windu photos to eBay and then did my uh, color corrections and all that. I think this is the best photos I've ever taken and put on a listing before. It is amazing how awesome that looks. Uh, I dumped out the bin I had of inverted slopes and parted those out. So now I'm just working on getting them cataloged. 
So I got those inverted slopes uh, cataloged and I put, got them put away. Uh, 277 items, 84 lots, 35 I think were new to my store, $18.01. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else I got done today. I was able to, well, I washed the uh, Benetechnic and so that is over here on the floor, drying. That's been there for a little while. And then uh, after that came down, I did the plates round. They are upstairs right now soaking. I will uh, get them rinsed off and brought down and at least put that, put the bin at the end of the towel here. And then when I pick this up tomorrow, I'll put, I'll lay that out there. So I'm making some progress. I think, uh, I think this will be next. One by plates. Then maybe this, maybe this. I don't know. We're we're filling bins quickly. I did, I think one one or two more bags today. I think I did three bags total. Maybe two. I can't remember. Anyways, uh, this bin that I washed the other day is here. I uploaded some big parts out of that today, and now I got a whole bunch of little parts I need to I need to go through. So. That's on my list. It's late. It's 10 at night, so probably won't get to it tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Hey, good morning. It's December 11th. Uh, just a couple orders to do here. And uh, we're supposed to get a major windstorm today, so like 70 mile an hour winds. I was outside preparing for that most of the morning. And then last night i got a little bit of wind under me at like after midnight i always seem to do that and started taking new photos new like branding photos of my sig fig with my new new head i took new video of uh my my store and i put together a new branding package for my store so i updated the uh, splash page that uh, has my new logo also has my new sig fig up there and then has a new video which is took some some of the feedback that i gathered from the last splash page that i did made it slower very you know very much slower um so that it doesn't make people motion sickness hopefully um it's a little bumpy because i was using the cart and the cart was unfortunately even even though the cart's on wheels it still bumps around quite a bit so i tried different a couple of different ways to make it better and this was actually the best one so i'm pretty happy with it um pretty happy with the rebrand all, all together it looks pretty nice compared to the uh crappy photo that i did before so let me know what you think well, i just got done doing a sort of technic i'm still not done this is what I got left here, but uh, I pulled some I had some parts in my Technic drawer that I pulled out that I've been collecting and uh, Went through that bin and pulled out the parts that I had most of them at least so I got all the bricks and then the lift arms and axles um, <clears throat> and plates and then a bunch of other stuff, but um, I started cataloging I'm just gonna do like little bits probably next thing I'm gonna do is sort this out but I got um, a whole bunch of pins and some other things that were quick and easy to do uh, so those are cataloged I'm about to put them away but this is what I'm doing right now it's uh, 766 parts most of those are the uh, Technic pins uh, 32 lots and $20 so cataloging this didn't take long but doing the initial sort was took a long time and that will take a long time to get through as well. And then over here, we've got uh, the uh, plates round. They, I put them down here last night and had them on the uh, high speed fan there for a while or, or overnight. And they're pretty much dry, so they're waiting to get picked up, but I need to deal with this first. Hey, good morning. It's Monday, December 13th. We had a 
an explosion of brickout orders late last night. Um, five, came, four came in. No, five came in. Pretty much like within the evening time last night. <laughs> it feel felt like I got the uh, brickout orders after all the uploading I did this weekend. I'm a little miffed, like why I don't get that same sort of bump with Bricklink. Um, Bricklink's has been a trickle for me lately. And looking against other stores, other stores aren't having that problem, so I'm not quite sure why I'm having that problem. So, anyways, I uh, got up early this morning. Uh, just six orders. Shouldn't take me long, maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes. And then um, I have four orders on eBay to do this morning as well, which shouldn't take me very long. So, let's uh, dive into it. Came across another color while I was pulling that I need to uh, program into my system. You can always tell because it has the caution look to it. So magenta needs to be programmed. Here we go. That is 10 envelopes. And uh, I think that is the fastest I've ever put together 10 orders in my life. Just being able to print all of buy and print all of the labels at one time and then just match up the labels to the orders is so much faster than trying to do it one at a time on, on PayPal. I'm loving it. Got another batch of parts drying. I've got all the one by plates that get washed, rinsed, and they're now in front of the fan for a few hours. So making some progress. Do have a backlog here though. Got the round plates and some Technic left. And then this. Pretty soon I'm gonna have uh, bricks ready to wash. And that will go into that bin there. So that'll add to that. And then pretty soon plates modified will be ready to wash. And that will go into here. That's going to be a bitch of a sort. Sorry for my language, but that's going to be a bitch of a sort. <laughs> okay, back to work. Got an order in the mail today. Uh, seller was Snots for Life. And this is a mix of minifigure parts for eBay as well as uh, just a lot of parts for the store to make shipping worth it so uh let's break into it and see what it looks like all right Ooh. A little extra merry christmas sticker that's kind of cool a thank you note. Hey, woohoo! Super stoked to have packed an order for the Ralph's Bricks. Really thank you for your purchase and hope you enjoy. Brooke and Clarissa, owners of Snots for Life. And then uh, a little thank you note at the beginning, at the front here. We are glad we we're able to help serve your Lego needs. If you're happy with your order, we appreciate feedback. Blah 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 blah. I like how they just they do it very simply, right? Like they just print out something paste it to what is it just like glued like glue stick glued onto a three by five card it works very simple very nice oh my very neatly packed here too look at this i can just see like through the through that that it's gonna be just very neat wow wow look at that that took some time at that they're not even stuck together they're just like neatly placed in there I wonder how much time that took that is that is just amazing to me that's simply amazing and the bricks as well and then the rest here take a look very impressed very neatly packaged more um, wedges here, some uh, studs in the middle, some 1x2 plates, 
uh, some more parts. Here's the things that I came here for. I came for the uh, Geonosis uh, Trooper Torso, uh, Princess Leia hair, uh, Mandalorian helmet. All these are things that I need. Uh, these I don't really need, but uh, plate and then some some parts for minifigures that I have an abundance of, but it was just throw, throw it in. These are really the three things that I came here for, were those. And then everything else is just sort of added in. Very neatly packaged. Snots for Life, very, very impressed with the uh, neatly packaged. I wonder if you do that all the time or if you just did it because you knew I was going to open this on camera, maybe. Um, but that that is just impressive. I cannot believe that. <laughs> that is just... Awesome. Well, thank you very much for taking so much time in my order. I really do appreciate it. It's Tuesday. It's the 14th of December. 11 days till Christmas. Hopefully you're getting your shopping done. It's funny, last night I was uh, venting to my wife uh, about how slow BrickLink has been for me uh, over the last few days. And then um, it seemed like on cue... Like an hour after that, I got like a uh, a deluge of BrickLink orders that came in all at once. So I got like five orders. I think the last three or four here came in all at once, um, like within a half an hour of each other, which was which was crazy. So um, I think the thing to do is to have a daily vent session with my wife about how slow BrickLink is. I mean, that's what seems to be working this is a daily event session with my wife so my poor wife will now need to hear about this every day it's late i need to uh get started on this so uh i'll make this quick 988 subscribers i need 12 more please subscribe to me the last the last 20 subscribers to get to a thousand seems to be taking forever I, like i'll gain a couple and then lose a couple and then gain one and then lose one it's been uh, a back and forth battle but uh i i appreciate everybody that subscribed and um hoping to get a thousand to a thousand pretty soon so i can stop watching this number i'm in the middle of pulling this order right now and um it's given me great comfort in knowing that like this order is pretty much almost a direct result of recent uploads. Um, a lot of Technic, a lot of Slopes, all use stuff that I recently uploaded within the last week. So it's just really great to see um, you know, some of that hard work where I didn't think it would pay off right away is sort of paying off with uh, this order in particular with all of, the, all of the parts that I've recently uploaded in Technic and Slopes. So... Really cool to see. Here are my orders all ready to go. Um, these two I wanted to talk about in my um, order pulling system. So these two, I just, at the end of the order, I was looking, uh, they were so big or they were awkward that I didn't know how they were going to be shipped. So in my screen, and I zoomed this out to protect the innocent, but basically um, I put these two orders as custom box and just gave them some random stuff but i didn't use the uh pirate ship export i just used the copy button and made single labels so this allowed me to continue on like saying hey i'm not i'm not quite sure what envelope these things are going to go in so i'm just going to set it to custom box and it goes into a separate separate area and then up here where all the first class labels are i can export that out separately as first class and get those out get those done first and then deal with these individually try to figure out you know what the best way to ship it maybe shop around for the price was it you know uh cubic shipping could i actually in the case of this one i actually got it to fit in the number two envelope so i was able to get the you know the three three or four dollar um um price tag on that 
um, versus like the $8 price tag. And then this one, I would have done a box if I could find one that fit and try to do the, the cubic shipping, but ultimately the uh, priority padded, flat rate padded envelope was the only one I could get that to fit into. I need to get some bigger boxes. I tried this one, which was a nine by six by three, and neither order would fit in this. Well, let's put it that way. This order would have fit in it, but um, I was not entirely so it has like this huge train base and it would have like i would have like slid it down diagonally and then like it would have been pressing against the corners so like any kind of drop on the on the corner would have broke it so i didn't like that so here it's it's still diagonal but i was able to give it some padding um to hopefully protect it but that one was just awkward because of the train base. This one's awkward because it's got a lot of um, bricks and bigger pieces and it, it weighs over a pound without the envelope. So it, it had to either go priority or had to go some box. So just, uh, I'm just loving this, right? It's just, it's just making life easier. Hey, it's Thursday. Uh, I think we took a break yesterday from filming, but yesterday was Brick Separators Day. And we had Caleb on the show, and I think it was a really good show. Um, we had about 20 people watching the premiere. Uh, Caleb was there, which was awesome, answering questions and reacting to the video. Um, so I think it was good, and we're up to, what, 360 views in about 24 hours, so I uh, can't complain about that. The other thing that we did yesterday was... Um, for a brief time, we were at a thousand subs, uh, which was awesome. Uh, however, we've fallen back. Um, we were all the way back down to 994 subscribers. I think people got me to a, a thousand and then started leaving after they we've reached the goal. So I don't know what that's about. That was a lot of people that dropped. We were up to 1,002 people. And then the next time I looked, it was 994. I was like, whoa, where did everybody go? So um, so three three more away from 1,000 sub, uh, subscribers, which I think is, this is probably the true number, right? I think yesterday we had a bunch of people uh, trying to get me to 1,000 after the show, which was great. I appreciate it. I love it. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, orders today, two. Well, I forget what I had yesterday. I think I only had two yesterday as well. One on Brick Owl and one on Brick Link. Um, let's see. And then on eBay, I've only got... I've got six. There was a lot a lot of activity for me yesterday on, on eBay. It's going to be... Uh, it's getting problematic to uh, keep, keep some of these things in stock. So uh, we'll keep trying it. I'm finding it's the same minifigures, too, uh, that are selling over and over and over again, which is interesting. And some of them are like, they hadn't been selling, and now all of a sudden they're selling. So it's kind of interesting to see what's going on there. But let me get into the pulling orders. Well, here is today's sort. I've got the one-by-one one round plates. And I've got tons of cups. And probably a few hours ahead of me getting this done and then cataloging it as well just got my order from david at dna dna bricks and it's got two of these slopes so i'm diving into it right now and there we are check it for where the dog is make sure i don't roll over them Do, do, do. Oh, it's backwards. No. All right, we'll have to do it this way. One. Two. I love that part. Still working. Amazon came today. I got five or ten of uh, the duel on Mandalore, which comes with a, a Sokotano and a Darth Maul. Really just got it for the, the minifigures, but it was a little over two part out, so not too bad. The uh, minifigures will pay for the whole set. So, uh, and then I was working on some tiles, got those washed up, 
filled up the bin over there obviously washed them up and they're drying now I've got a backlog here I've got plates one by plates I washed up and and did I got some technics still left to do and now tiles and then uh, bricks are gonna be next pretty soon two by plates are gonna be next uh, plates modified pl big plates slopes are coming up again when you're uh, sorting every day things come up fast we are finally all done that took a while <laughs> now gotta count it all but it's funny I was thinking about it as I was coming to the end of this and I've, I've had this feeling before uh, while sorting used parts well, let me start over here this doesn't feel like inventory to me it just feels like piles of Lego right and then so or more specifically that right like it's just a pile of Lego it's a lot of work to get get through that first step you know you make this it still just feels like piles of Lego uh, you wash it you get to this step still feels like piles of Lego you do another sort on this and then another well, like this will be sorted down by size and then another sort by by color until you get this and this is to the point where it's ready to go into the drawer and be listed and when it gets to this point where like each color is separated out it actually feels like inventory it feels like something that you can sell and it's like a weird like i don't know that doesn't feel like something i can sell this does it's just the way it feels when you see it on the table like that counting out these um one by one round plates and i just wanted to show my little counting hack so i have a tendency as i'm counting i learned early on to uh get dyslexic with my numbers and um forget where i was and you know potentially double count or go backwards or just completely forget where I am so this is this is a system that I sort of came up with that works for me so I count in tens so um, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten put a little pile 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 so I can easily see here that I have 50 and so when I have a cup of that has a lot of them in there you know that's more than 50 or more than a hundred I'll count 50 out and then I'll put them in a little cup so here I can see I have 150 200 I'll put this in a little cup too and then I'll just put some more in here and count out 50 more so I don't have to remember where I'm at all I have to do is count to 10 <laughs> and then build a pile count to 10 build a pile and then uh yeah so it makes it so that i don't forget where i'm at and i can easily count back up to see where where i'm at so piles of 10 and then cups of 50 and then it's real easy to figure out what it is after you've counted them all up so here i've counted everything so here i can start i got one two three four five so that's 250 I have one complete pile, so this is 260, and then this pile has nine of them in there, so that's 269 trans red one by one round plates. Very easy to figure out. Here's an interesting one for you. So, as I was going through the white ones, I saw these two that were like sort of slightly miscolored. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I put a white one next to it. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not, but the two in the front there are totally miscolored but if i yeah that works they are glow in the dark white so i thought they were um uh non-lego and then i saw the lego logo and i'm like well let me check and so i put it up in my eye like that and found that they were uh glow in the dark now i gotta see if there's any other ones i went through the cups here but 
I don't see any other like totally miscolored ones, but that's kind of cool that I found two. Um, they were just like, they got like sort of a, like a little bit of a greenish tint to it that just sort of sets it apart. So something to look for. All right, they're all counted. 3,109, 37 lots. Uh, let's see what the value is we can do that real quick hopefully it's thousands of dollars it won't be and 77 dollars thanks everyone for watching our video don't forget to subscribe to ralph's bricks youtube channel by clicking our icon here you can watch our last store vlog video by clicking here you can watch the latest video that we've produced here and don't forget, you can find us at ralphsbricks.com.